And now, your Fox 24 local weather authority forecast. Skies are mostly clear ahead here in the Midland and Odessa area. Live look. We do notice, though, there's this big cloud off in the distance. This is a cumulonimbus cloud. It's a thunderstorm cloud about 130 miles away from the Midland and Odessa area. Again, ample sunshine right now for most places across the region, but we could be seeing more storms like these pop up later today. A marginal risk of severe weather. It's a low chance of severe weather, but still, nonetheless, there is that chance. There was a severe thunderstorm warning earlier, again, 130 miles away from the Midland in Odessa area near Dryden, near Sanderson, where there is now a flood aerial advisory. That's in effect till 1030 a.m. local time, meaning Flash flooding is not out of the question. Over an inch or two of rainfall has fallen near the Sanderson area. Similar conditions in Dryden, a flood aerial advisory. That's in effect till 10.45 a.m. local time. Those pinks, reds, and oranges indicate, again, flash flooding, not out of the question with frequent lightning, strong winds, and even large hail. The rain rates, again, how much rain is falling at a given moment, very high, indicating, again, very heavy rainfall in the areas that do need it. But again, it's coming all at one point, moving off to the east right around 40 miles per hour. And speaking of that hail, about an inch or two in diameter, that's enough to damage cars and mobile homes. Luckily, the greatest of the hail was just south of Sanderson, but we do notice it's moving off to the east with small hail currently right now. So that storm is weakening, but still will pose a threat for places near Brewster County, Terrell County, again, those areas will be seeing flooding and, again, severe weather potentially. And we do need the rainfall, though, the worst form of drought in that area, including the northern basin. That's exceptional drought. We need the rainfall. We'll take it, but it may come at the threat of severe thunderstorms, which will produce strong winds. But anywhere west of the Pecos River, it will be drier, so there's the threat of fire danger. In Midland, Odessa, high temperature, 96 degrees, very warm conditions, not just in the Petroplex, but across the region, getting fairly close to the triple digits near the Rio Grande before cooling off tonight in the 60s and 70s east of the Pecos River. But take a look at this, 40s and 50s because of the dry air, that radiational cooling in the higher elevations of the Davis Mountains here in Midland and Odessa. Low temperature, 65 degrees. Clear and mild with those winds from the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Fairly nice night to enjoy the outdoors as most of those storms will depart the area right around 8 o'clock local time. I do notice that. Again, some spotty rain showers and rumbles of thunder may produce, again, severe weather. Not out of the question on this future radar. Not really picking up very well. But as we head into tomorrow, that threat moving off into the east, giving way to ample sunshine, dry and breezy conditions, elevating the risk of fire potential and the heat. High temperatures in the mid to upper 90s and triple digits across the board this weekend across the basin. So make sure you guys hydrate, not just for today, but especially over the next several days. Again, the strong winds will be the main constant as temperatures will even warm up even more by later next week.